Hey guys, I'm back today with a Queen and Company project. I'm going to be making five cards out of this kit. This is the Gumball Shaker Kit, and here I am pulling out all the items. It's a small kit, so that's why I'm just sticking to the five cards. You get the the sheet that has all the information about what is included in the kit, and here are my little shaker bits, and then here are my foam pieces that are the gumball machine. Then you get a set of dies to create the gumballs or I'm sorry, the gumball machine, there are the acetate pieces. And then you do get a really sweet little stamp set. So here are the dies and then stamp set that has a variety of sentiments. I'm stuck on you, I've always, I have always have a ball when I'm with you, I choose you, you can pause and, and read all the sentiments. So here's a pack of Stampin' Up! paper. And per usual, I'm, I can't tell you the name of it, it's brand new, but I thought it would be really cute to bring in this paper because it matched the shaker bits and is kind of similar to the theme of the um, little kit. So I'll have it linked below. I can't remember what name it is. So here I'm going to put together one of the gumballs with you and then the rest of the video I kind of skip this part. So I do make a mistake here and in the next card I will show you the correct way to do it. But here I am just taking a piece of foam I punch out that middle part, I put the piece of acetate down, and I am taking this part that I cut out with a die, and I'm going to stick it to the foam piece. And then I will flip that over, fill it with my shaker bits, and then attach it to my solid white gumball. Gumball machine. Of course, you could use, you know, once your little shaker bits run out, you can use any, you can use sequins, whatever, uh, it, whatever you have on stock, on stock, hello, like you're a store, whatever you have in stock, <laughs> whatever you have in your stash, I mean, um, of course, Queen & Company has the best shaker bits out there, in my opinion. So here is where I made the mistake. This piece should have been attached first before the... Um, foam piece. So I lift it up gently. I kind of stick it in there. I didn't want to flip it over because then all my little balls would fall out. So I do that. I hold it above me and stick it in there. And then I'm going to finish putting together the rest of the gumball machine. I do use some silver glitter. No, not glitter. Silver cardstock for that little piece right there. Um, of course, you can use the die and not create a shaker card. You know, you're limited on your foam pieces, but after that's done, um, what I would recommend is you can either use 3M foam if you're patient and you punch out, I'm sorry, I'm watching myself punch and I said punch. If you cut out thin strips of your 3M foam tape or Stampin' Up! sells really thin strips of adhesive foam, which are great for shaker cards. If there is a refill kit from Queen & Company, I will link it below. Um, I'll also link the Stampin' Up! adhesive strips because those are always handy to have. That's what I use when I make shaker cards, which is pretty rare, but um, that's typically, well, that is what I use because it's so convenient. So while I put this card together, I'm gonna kind of give you an update on me. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and if you watch all my all my videos, I have been having issues with my hands. Um, my hands, I cannot feel anything. They are numb and tingly. And so like this video took me three days to make because I would make a card or two and then I would have to stop. So I posted on Instagram a funny picture of me wearing two uh, wrist braces. So I went for a second opinion. My first doctor said, oh, you're iron deficient. That could be leading to some of your symptoms. I was definitely iron deficient, been taking supplements, and it has helped with some things, but not my hands. So since then, my hands have gotten worse. Um, just at nighttime, they were falling asleep. They were numb. During the day, they were fine. And then it was constantly. Here I'm adding some halos. Um, I hope Queen & Company has those available. I will link all the little extra embellishments I have. Anyway, I don't want to talk about myself the whole time in this video, but um, went to get a second opinion and I do have carpal tunnel syndrome. So 
And it was so nice. Thank you to everyone that left me a comment on Instagram. So many people are going through the same thing or have the same issue. They wear the braces at night and stuff. And I'm supposed to wear them at night, but um, I do wear them occasionally during the day. I figure, what will it hurt? And if it'll speed up some uh, the process of feeling better, um, you know, I'll do that. So thank you to everyone that has said something on Instagram. That means a lot. But I did want you guys to know my point is that videos will be slowing down. I'm basically just going to do videos for my design teams that I'm on. Um, but other than that, that's it for now. I'm hoping that things will improve. But um, the not being able to feel like I, I've cut my nails because the worst feeling is at the tip of my nails. Like I just want to rip my nails off, not the tip of my nails, but the tip of my fingers, the we the the worst tingling sensation. So anyway, just know that videos will slow down, um, and the only videos I'll be putting out are my design team requirements. Um, and I, what else did I want to say? I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted you guys to know. Um, and I will do my mail call videos. If you're not familiar with mail call, the information will be below. I'm only doing this for a couple more months, so I would love to, if you've been wanting to participate, that you participate. I got very little for this month, for uh, February. So uh, I'll have that video out soon after this one. But um, I would like to go into May. But if I'm not getting anything, it'll obviously end sooner. So if you've been complaining about me ending it, you need to send a card in. <laughs> So on that card, you saw me add some rubber bubbles. Those are a lot of fun. Um, like I said, I will link the, what do you call them? All the little embellishments I'm using. You know, Wendy from Queen & Company send, sent me tons of embellishments. And I have them out and I put them, you know, if you saw my craft room tour, they're now visible in a box that is next to my craft area. And the whole purpose of that was so I use them more often because she sent so much and I don't showcase them enough. And I love them so much. So uh, if you're not interested in the kit, this little shit gumball shaker kit, definitely go check out to see all the embellishments they have. They are the best. So there are some little glitter flowers. They're like little, I don't know what material it is, but they're hard. And um, the back of them is solid, you know, nice and flat. So they're easy to adhere to your card and they don't have that much dimension. There's no more dimension on my little gumball than on these flowers. So you can see they're really flat, stay perfectly with the glue. I'm sure a glue dot would work as well. A couple of them, but those colors go perfectly with the paper. So I'm really happy that the paper went really well with the whole kit and the embellishments I used. Now, as far as I know, Queen and Company still has some paper that would coordinate with this kit and I will find it and link it below if I can. Um, I, Wendy did send me another pad to use but I can't for the life of me find it. It's somewhere in my closet in my paper stash. That's why I chose to use this paper otherwise I would have been using a Queen & Company paper. So I will link a coordinating Queen & Company paper pack that you could use with this kit that would work just as well. Here I just die cut out a bunch of circles. I kind of want one of them to look like gumballs in a way. Um, and then I go ahead and attach my little gumball machine. And then I will attach my sentiment. Here is some paper twine from Queen & Company. I love the paper twine. I love twine, but the paper twine is stiffer, a little bit easier to work with. Of course, with my hands acting funny, I had to cut a lot of me tying the bow and working with the twine off camera because it takes me a little bit longer. But um, there is the end result, and I, I still love the paper twine. <laughs> Here are more of those rubber bubbles that are a lot of fun. I thought those looked similar to gumballs. They're matte. So I thought they look, I mean, I think they look really neat. So for the final card, I wanted to do a traditional red gumball machine. So I had to bring out a doily since doilies are a little traditional. And I just cut a strip of some black paper. This is actually doodlebug paper. It is both the red and black doodlebug. And I just kept, I kept it really simple. I did keep these cards really simple. Like I said, I can't get too involved until I kind of get back to normal. And I attach that down and then I will attach my sentiment and gumball.
Um, I have a question. Would you guys like to have a video? I'm not going to do a live video because I'm just not ready for that. But like I throw it out there. You ask me questions. It could be any questions, personal, crafting, whatever. And then I do like a color with me and I make a video and I'm just coloring, but I'm answering all your questions. And the coloring part is just so I can actually be doing something. And I'll probably have to split it up because I can't color for too long. But um, is that something y'all be interested in? Because I've never, I love watching like me answer your questions or, you know, whatever, something like that. I don't know. Let me know if you'd be interested in that and then I'll throw it out there um, and see see what everyone thinks. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite card was. All supplies will be linked below. Thanks for watching and thanks for all your support and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!